Hello, I'm Lisa Lewis, CPA from TurboTax, with important information on how to figure out what your adjusted gross income is. You've probably heard the term many times, but do you know how to calculate your adjusted gross income, or AGI as it's commonly referred to, or even why it's necessary? Every tax return form will include a line that reports your AGI. However, the calculation can be a little different depending on the form you use. When filing your taxes on Form 1040, the last line of the first page will report your AGI, which is equal to your gross income minus the deductions listed in the Adjusted Gross Income section. These deductions, which are also known as adjustments to income, can change each year. But commonly, they cover payments for alimony, job-related moving expenses, and student loan interest. Adjustments to income don't, however, include the standard deduction, itemized deductions, or personal and dependent exemptions. Instead, you claim these items on the second page of 1040 to calculate your taxable income. When using the 1040A form to prepare your tax return, the IRS limits the types of adjustments to income that you can claim. The available deductions will also vary each year, but generally, only a fraction of the adjustments on the 1040 are available on the 1040A. And if you file your tax return on the 1040EZ, the form doesn't allow you to claim any adjustments at all. As a result, your AGI is always the same as your total income. Although every tax form reports your AGI, in most cases, it's not significant unless the IRS uses it as a threshold amount to determine if you're eligible for a tax benefit, such as a deduction or credit. For example, if you plan on taking the child tax credit, your AGI cannot exceed the amount for your filing status, otherwise you cannot take the credit. When you file with TurboTax, we'll ask you simple questions and do all the math to determine your AGI for you. For more information about income taxes, visit TurboTax.com.